Hey guys, that's Slender Magic, and what are those? In the words of that stupid meme that died ages ago. Well, it might be two RX 560s cooled by two 120mm uh, fans on a Z Series chipset board. Second gen running an underclocked Celeron with, for some reason, still two sticks of RAM. Don't know why I haven't pulled one of those yet. Uh, with the world's ghettoest uh, Dynex retractable mouse and an even ghettoer F panel unit. <laughs> yeah, that's the power button. Yeah. Also, haha, you can't remote control it because I blocked it, also you wouldn't know the password. Uh, some garbage 160 drive that I pulled out of some rummage sale computer. Honestly, I think that's where this board came from. That's a one pound chipset cooler with a thermal pad too, by the way. We ain't playing here, but what does it do? Well, it mines bitcoins! Except that it doesn't, I'm actually mining, um, Ethereum. <laughs> Whatever, cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies, and they're all honestly just meta currencies for like US dollar anyway, so it doesn't really matter what coin, you can trade them all on btce.com pretty much, but you can see 23 mega hashes per second almost, flirting with it a little bit, which is $1.49 a day, except it's just down clocked. God, I hate that top card. It, I accidentally ordered one that runs on board power. My bad. But the other one runs on six pin, and I had some hardware sitting around. A lot of people walk into my shop and they're like, why do you have all this computer equipment, or why do you have so many computers, or why are there, why is there random computers laying around? It seems a bit odd. Um, it's because, you know, just as a side project, we um, uh, strip apart computers and refurbish them, sell off the parts, you know, whatever. Just if, if it's low at the shop, I'll just like build a desktop, post it on Facebook or something, or Craigslist. Um, actually makes pretty good money. Oh, there goes the screen. Oh. Fine, I was done with you anyway. Let's show off this one. Uh, so we got... God, I think this one's even worse. This is a... Uh, uh, oh, it's a Q67 chipset. That's actually kind of nice. That's still second gen, though, because our first gen board uh, blew apart. Yep. Even getaway F-Panel unit. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately for now, one externally powered uh, RX 560. I need a second one, but I'm waiting on a 570 or 580. But I'm sure those will come back in stock when hell freezes over. Um, yeah, really nice power supply there. We got a whole bunch of those off of some that somebody dropped off for recycling. <laughs> so, that's why people are like, you do electronics recycling? That's odd, considering what my business actually does. But at this point, we're basically a conglomerate. I might as well just start, like, doing haircuts or something. <laughs> something really dumb that I don't know how to do. But I do know how to build uh, Bitcoin mining rigs. Um, or any cryptocurrency at all. Especially with totally and utterly non-matching RAM, which I got 16 gigs in there just to run Windows updates. Because, uh, honestly, they don't clear memory correctly. So, that's fun. So let's take a look at this one. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, I'm going to not show that. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's it's running at uh, 12 mega hashes. That's not bad. It's making 78 cents a day. Now, the thing is, this was higher. It was a higher amount. Um, but, Bitcoin just dropped from 2600 to 2100 and I sell my mining services on NiceHash as a mining contract. It's not like bid, it's like they handle all the sales. They just pay me, basically. It's almost as if I was pool mining, but minus a 2% fee. Um, should I, instead of writing, uh, running NiceHash, should I probably just run the Claymore Miner for Ethereum and just pocket it into a wallet? Well, I'd have to send it to an exchange, sell it, and then take it back out, which is going to be about the same fee. I mean, so whatever, I'll just use a mining contract. Plus, it's a lot easier to pay taxes instead of, like, capital gains and investment and all this crap. Just, I'm selling a service. I'm selling a mining contract. Simple. Income. Put it on my LLC. Done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, making my taxes easier. Definitely worthwhile. Um, so, yeah, this thing, it's, you know, it's pretty quiet, actually, compared to a Bitcoin ASIC, which currently the high-end ones run at... Uh, 1300 watts and they run a fan that's like 70 decibels. <laughs> There's a couple water-cooled ones, but you know, those are dangerous. Um, but yeah, we just threw these together, and if you're wondering why the price of Bitcoin dropped, everybody's like, why did Bitcoins in the last three days lose like $500 out of nowhere? Well, I don't know if you knew this or not, but it's 100% my fault, personally, because as soon as I ordered these, and I had a payoff period calculated at just under uh, three months, so that's like really good. So that means you know they'll make about 150 bucks a month, 170, um, and then I paid like 440 for the cards or four. I think it was 400 flat because I got like all these discounts and eBay cash back and credit card, you know, all this nonsense. Um, so yeah, I got a pretty good deal on them, but uh, I'm like, okay, cool. So I'll be making money after a short payoff period. Cool. Now it's like six or seven months. 
And it's because the second I took these out of the box and turned them on, I like heard this weird stomping noise in the background in the distance. I'm like, that's weird. It sounds like somebody running with boots. Yeah, that's the universe with its steel-toed boots running as fast as it can, getting a running start, coming to kick me in the nuts. Again. Uh, if you're like, oh, you're exaggerating, I lost $1.21 million on bitcoins by not selling them at the right time. So, yeah. And that's not even the full story. Three separate instances caused me to lose, um, we'll say, five digits, well, six digits or more of money. So, that's awesome. That totally doesn't make me wake up in the morning and want to just die. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you can only get kicked in the nuts so many times until you make money on Bitcoins. Which, actually, um, I used to run a whole line of seven modified ASICs with custom cooling, cooling mods, um, like air pressure mods and silent fans. Um, and I made, like, probably a thousand dollars on them, at least. So... Yeah, so I thought let's take a second shot at it, because I'm like OG Bitcoin, I mean we're talking 2010, which is in itself why I could have made some money on it, let's just put it that way, because back then Bitcoins weren't a thousand dollars, but uh, 14 months after I sold mine, uh, they were. So that's, that's all, I sold them for about 525. Best, best investment decision ever. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, if you wanted to throw together a rig right now, RX 570s and 580s are extinct. They no longer exist. They're just a myth, basically. Um, the whole world is sold out of them, and uh, there's absolutely no reliable news on when they're coming back in stock. And so these, uh, they get, what, 12 mega hashes per second. The top one runs on board power, and it has really garbage memory, so it uh, runs slower. Also, the firmware in the BIOS is crap. It's too small of a ROM to edit really complicated, but, uh, yeah, an RX 570 or 580, they are mm, flirting with about double that. I couldn't find hard numbers, but, uh, you know, at that point, it's like, okay, I want to run four systems. I got, you know, a KVM and one monitor mouse and keyboard. Okay, cool. And a switch to switch the internet. Pretty cheap setup. These motherboards are garbage, obviously. I got them for practically free. Um, let's set it all up. Well, that would make, like, if you had that many of them, six, seven, eight hundred, maybe a thousand bucks a month. So after you pay off the mm, two thousand, three thousand bucks for the hardware, boom. Now here's the thing, though, you're making enough money to pay the minimums on the credit card, and then even higher by a factor of about five. So no problem. And I've got forty grand in available credit on a bunch of credit cards that have no balance whatsoever. So yeah, I think some of them still have an interest-free period. So. Why not? So I put, you know, this $400 order, or whatever it was, on uh, my credit cards, and now it's going to take a lot longer to pay them off. Because I think grand total, with the current price of Bitcoins, if it stays steady and doesn't return to what it was, um, I don't know, five-month, six-month payoff period, something like that. Uh, my electrical meter broke, so I don't actually know how much electricity those are drawing, and I'm, I'm paying like 13 cents a kilowatt hour here. It's really bad. Some people get industrial pricing, it's like 6, 7 cents. That's like cheating. But, um, I don't know, the loss percentage on um, power on these rigs is maybe 10%. I mean, it's just so efficient now compared to an ASIC. Where with an ASIC, if you bought like the latest Antminer, like version 9 or whatever, uh, I think 50% minimum would go to power loss like it, at my current price so I'm not touching one of those and also they don't ship out till September so I'm not gonna put in a pre-order for like fifteen hundred dollars no thanks uh, and if it breaks that would be bad and you'd have to ship it overseas to warranty it so <laughs> nothing good about those and if you pick them up from America on eBay they're like two grand people are just scalping them like they're Nintendo switches so uh... yeah maybe maybe I could get an NES classic to uh... to mine bitcoins <laughs> that, that would be great <laughs> Hey, people were talking about trying to rig a PS4 to do it because they had some kind of multi-stream, you know, something cell processor, but I don't know. Sounded neat. I don't know if they ever got it to work. Uh, I don't think it did. Can't be very efficient. <laughs> but if I had these cards mining actual Bitcoins and not Ethereum, they would be losing about 100 to 1 on power. So, not really an option anymore, but uh, that's the thing about Ethereum. It uses uh, graphics RAM much heavier, so both of these have 4 gigs of video memory on them. Uh, and that's what the new hashing algorithm requires. It requires a ton of cores, a lot of, lot of multi-threaded stuff, but also just tons of RAM usage. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So you can rig these up with, you know, a 4 gig, 8 gig Radeon card, a lot of RX 4 series, 5 series out there. You can get them on eBay if you're willing to pay way too much. Um, and if the price drops a little bit lower, 
uh, because Bitcoin's dropped, I might pick one up, you know, just to be the, the last card on the other rig. But I'm hoping to get four of these up and running. We got a couple of motherboards prepped and ready to go, OS all loaded. You don't even have to activate Windows technically, because who cares if it nags you about it not being activated and disables half the features. I'm not even using the computer, so... Whatever, and it takes up almost no bandwidth, which is good, because I have crappy 10 meg internet here, because uh, I'm a business, and at my apartment I have 70, and it costs less. Thanks, Spectrum. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want to know more about Bitcoin mining, or any kind of cryptocurrency mining, I am going to do a whole podcast about it on somebody else's channel, so I'll be sure to link to that, make a video about it in the future. Should be within about a week, and uh, I just like co-starring and special guesting on other people's channels. So if you have a channel, I don't care what size, I don't care what topic, I'll jump on it. If it's about, like, fishing, I'll pretend to know about that, or just make, uh, some stupid smart comments. Uh, that, that sound intelligent, so... Hit me up for that, otherwise, uh, if you guys are interested in some more mining videos, if you want me to update you on the rig and overclocking and other cool stuff, let me know, even though it's horribly off-topic. And I will see you guys next video.